Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting UI quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all about list boxes and list items, how we can create them, add to them, and remove from them. Before we get started, I do want to remind you, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it to get notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code uh, to set up your own list box as well. And you can follow us there on GitHub. And down in the description, finally, you can follow us on Instagram as well for other updates. Be sure to join our Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or a VIP on our YouTube channel to get cool perks as well as help us out financially. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use After Effects because sometimes when you use uh, Extend Script for a list box, it actually doesn't display anything. So we're going to be using After Effects just to visually see everything here. But we're going to be making a simple list box where we can add and then remove items from our list box super easily. This will illustrate how to create them as well as adjust them. So I'll quickly create a new script. We're going to start by creating a counter, keep track of how many list box items we've added. And then I'm going to quickly set up a window, uh, which I'll call a new window type palette. We'll call it list box, undefined size. Then I'll set the orientation of our window to be a column. We're going to add two groups, one of them to contain our list box, the other to contain the add and subtract buttons. So first I'm going to create a uh, group one. Set this equal to a window and we're going to add a group undefined size and we'll call it group one the orientation of this doesn't matter because we're just going to add one element to it which is going to be called our list box this is going to be equal to our group one and we're going to add a list box the undefined size and it requires an array normally with the drop down you also require an array so for now let's just fill it with test test two test three then we can also set the selection of this by saying listbox.selection is equal to zero, which will select the very first element inside of it. Then I'll go ahead and create my second group, which will contain our buttons. So I'll call it group two. We're going to add this group to our window, undefined size, and call it group two. Let's set the orientation of this one to be row, because we will have multiple elements and we want them to go from left to right. We'll have our add button is equal to group two. We're going to add a button, undefined size, and the text is going to be plus to say add. And we're also going to set the size of this button. So add button dot size is equal to 25 by 25 pixels. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this for our subtract button. And I'll update the text as well to say subtract button. Now our UI should be done. Let's grab our window and center it and our window again, and we'll show it. And now when we run it, we have our simple uh, list box and button setup. I'm gonna increase the width of our list box. So I'll say list box dot size, and let's say maybe 80 by 100 pixels. That looks like a good size. Now we have our three test items. Now what we wanna do is add the ability to add items to our list box, as well as remove them. One thing to mention is you might notice you can't multi-select on your list box. If you would like to add this functionality, you can. You just need to add a fourth argument to your list box, put it inside of brackets, and we'll say multi-select colon true. And that should allow us to select multiple items inside of our list box as well. And you can check out uh, these other things you can control, like the number of columns, uh, width, titles and more. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these three items from my list box. Now it should be empty. Now anytime we hit the plus button, we want to add something. And anytime we hit the minus button, we want to remove any selected list box items. We don't want to, we don't want to just remove arbitrary things. So first let's say our add button dot on click split to a function. And this is where our counter is going to come in. If we hit the add button, we're going to increment our counter to then be one for the first time through. Now we want to add a list item to our list box, which we'll do by grabbing our list box and we'll add something. This takes two arguments. The first is what we want to add. We're going to add an item and what is going to be inside of that item. Let's just say item underscore, and then we'll add our counter about two string. So this should add item one item two as much as we add. So if we just 
test it out here, you can see we're now adding items with the current labels and the correct counter number. Now we need to add the code for the subtract button. So I'll say subtract button on click is equal to function. And inside of here, the first thing we need to check for is if we have a an item selected. If nothing is selected, there's nothing we want to delete. So if we take a look at our list box properties, we actually have one called selection. And this returns a single list item, or I guess it would return an array for multi selections. So basically, we can call dot selection, and it should return the uh, list item itself, which we can then remove. So I'm going to say, if something is true, or if some logic is meant, and that logic is going to be if list box dot selection, and we want to make sure that selection is not null. If it's not null, that means it's going to return something valid to us. And if it has something valid, we want to remove that. So let's say list box dot selection dot remove. So we want to make sure that the return is not null, which means we have a list item selected. And we're going to decrement our counter, which will basically keep track of how many elements we have overall. And then I'm going to grab a list box and say dot remove. And what do we want to remove? We want to remove list box dot selection. So now if I go ahead and run this, we should now be able to add items. And if I hit subtract with nothing selected, nothing's going to happen. If I select say item two, hit subtract, it's now going to remove that list item from our list box. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this on GitHub. Try it out for yourself. And down in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other cool updates. Make sure you join the Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And you can help support our YouTube channel by becoming one of these member levels and getting cool perks and uh, also get shoutouts on videos as well. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.